In the studio, we have a guest, uh, Ajuma Otache. She is the coach of Goodland Rangers FC, playing in the nationwide league. Okay, good morning. I think the only female coach we have in... in, 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 in okay, the only female uh, coach we have, you know, coaching men in Nigeria. <laughs> good morning. Good to have you again. Good morning. Good morning, good everybody. Morning. Yeah. Good morning, viewers. Good to be here. Good to have you. Now, okay, uh, on Friday, I mean, y you guys played your, more like the final game to qualify for the playoffs in the uh, nationwide league. You know, some of us find it difficult to understand the league because you have like more than 82 teams. But then in the A1, yeah. we have A1, A2, A2 B1, B2, B2, B2 up to H, <laughs> up up to to H, H. Yeah. the way it is structured. Now, in your group, how has it been, you know, playing these games and all that? Um, I would say it has been a fantastic season for Goodland Rangers FC. Um, we uh, got it up and rolling from the first game against Messiah FC, um, where we played at Unicorn Stadium. We were away to um, Messiah FC and we defeated, de defeated them three goals to two. Um, the league in the nationwide league um, is actually a very tedious one. Because um, there are so many teams, over 160 teams all together in the nationwide a lot of league. Teams. Yeah, um, and uh, I think the guys, um, Shola Ogunowa and his crew, they are really doing a good job because um, the league is well organized, well structured. That's why we have A1, A2, B1, B2 up to H, so that um, because teams normally have financial constraint, they can just play, qualify like we have done and you can go ahead and play in the playoff where just one winner represents each group mm -hmm. to qualify for the next round. Okay. Uh, Cecilia, the last time um, she was on the show, um, that's a few uh, months ago now, and uh, you told us that clearly uh, that your, uh, your main um, objective was to actually gain promotion. Um, how close are, are you to achieving that target? Um, at the moment, we are just one step closer to promotion because we came out tops um, from Group A1, and we are just waiting for the winner in Group A2 to, to play in the playoffs. Then just one team will qualify to represent the Group A in the Nationwide League One. Okay. okay. All right. Now talk to us about your ambitions. You know, I, I know that uh, you've talked about the challenges in the lower rung. I know that when you step up uh, to the uh, National League, you know, the challenges will be there. You are this close to getting into... Um, the um, National League. So my question to you is the challenges that you face now is going to be bigger when you step up uh, to that level. I'm, I'm hoping you do anyway. But how ready are you for that bigger challenge? Um, I think because we have climbed up the radar from one stage to another, we, are, we know what is actually in front of us. Um, having played in, in the um, Eco League, the playoffs to Division 3, we know at every level you just need to step up your game. You need um, different apparatus to carry out or execute um, at different levels. At our own level, at least, the way we trained last year is not the way we trained this year. Um, we've been able to like improve on the number of days we have for training. Mm -hmm. And in the Division 1 also, we are expecting that we are going to have more training time in terms of maybe probably twice a day instead of just training once a day four times a week maybe we might go up to train um, four times a week but twice a day um, also in the caliber of players um, we're also looking at beefing up our team yeah because as you go up definitely the challenge gets stronger and everyone needs to just be at the right place to do what is needed so we are, we are up for the challenge and we hope to just take it one step at a time well, how about um, distractions? I don't want to talk about officials. Everybody talks about officials, but uh, the distractions, issues about um, salaries, you know, uh, get transportation, getting yourself to venue uh, of matches. I mean, all those kind of distractions, because a coach can be the best in the world, but those kind of distractions can ensure that, you know, you don't get the best from your players. Sure, um, sure. We, we um, actually encountered such problems even in this um, particular season. But um, we've learned that we need to start preparations early. So um, we are looking at um, putting up a proposal to corporate organizations, individuals, drawing up everybody to 
um, come up on board and support the theme. At the moment, we are actually looking at selling shares um, in Goodland Rangers, so everyone is invited. You can come up and buy shares in the club. It's a viable project because the, the team is really doing well, I must confess. And um, we are hoping that we'll get all the resources that we need um, from 2017 so that we plan ahead. We don't just wait till we get to 2018, then we start um, having such challenges because we know that um, definitely traveling home and away is not going to be like this year that we are just in Lagos. All teams we are in Lagos, fortunately for us, so we're able to like execute the, the project without really, really struggling. But we know the tax ahead, and we are going to do all it takes. Um, our management are so solidly behind us, and individuals too who have interest in the club are also um, putting in the cash where their mouth is. All right. Yeah. yeah, we know how difficult it is to run a club in Nigeria, especially this one is privately owned, so it's not government funds and all that. So getting that resource is always it's very, very difficult. So you guys are going public. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's what I'm... Because I remember oh. when... Uh, the CEO of uh, yeah. LMC talking about in the career, but talked about you know right. clubs. You know, they're trying to know. Uh, I mean, going to stock exchange and all that, and see how these clubs you know can start doing it. But how are you? I'm interested in that mm. shares thing that you just talked about. Yeah, um, for us, um, we intend to bring individuals in who have money and they want to invest because good land rangers, like we have seen over the years, we have. Um, uh, a particular player now playing in Portugal, Ibrahim Badamosi, he was our highest goal scorer last season and um, he was bought by Remo Stars. Um, he's doing really, really well in, in Portugal. He just, um, he was promoted to the main team now from the U19 team mm. and he's scoring goals, doing well in the preseason. Um, what we did with Ibrahim was to like have um, a per percentage per se not really like an actual sellout. So every year he progresses, Goodland Rangers gets money. So if people are going to buy into Goodland Rangers, so the more we sell our players, the more we, we have them. Um, also Marcos Ayomide outside too with um, Remo Stars. Um, we have a couple of players too that people are really interested in. So the more we sell our players out, we get funds for the club. So anyone buying into the club will be very sure that at the end of the day you have something to show. Return on you, investment. Yeah.